Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Life the Mundane. I'm Katie here, and today we're gonna to be talking about math lessons for a living education. This is a, math, a book, math book put out by Masterbooks going from level one to level six, roughly first grade to sixth grade, um, although some people like to start it in kindergarten. And we're just gonna be talking about what I think are the pros and cons of it, and some information that I wish I would have just had a heads up on is, is basically it. It wouldn't have necessarily changed my mind about using the curriculum. We've used it for several years and loved it, but would have been helpful to know up front. So let's get started. All right, so before I jump into the nitty gritty pros and cons here for you guys, I wanna say uh, front one, this is not going to be a super in-depth flip through of the curriculum. You can find fantastic videos on that. And if you guys would like to see, if you guys would like to see a video on that, where I actually show you inside the book and walk you through all of that, definitely let me know. But I wanted to kind of just give you a quick snippet of the pros and the cons that I see to it. And I'm going to put a, a link that you can see samples of the curriculum. You can do a placement test of the curriculum and you can read more about the concepts of how this is taught in the links below. But I wanna kinda of share with you what the website might not share with you. So hopefully that is helpful to you guys and not too confusing for you. But basically we have been using um, level one and level two for all four of our kids. Um, I have my, my youngest is kindergarten. She is doing half of book one in kindergarten and the other half she'll do in first grade because of some special needs and um, that she has with her genetic disorder and the way that her brain works, we're just going at a little bit slower pace and that's okay, that's why we homeschool. Um, for my second grader, she's right on point, she's finishing that book at the end of this week and for my third graders, they have gone through book one and book two and are now in teaching textbooks three. Um, we can decided just briefly, I kind of explained this a couple weeks ago when I did the review on teaching textbooks, but we decided to push them into that instead of continuing with this, just simply because it is pretty much, you know, child-led, very, very little work on mom's part. This is not a lot of work either, but it is still involves me for sure. And that one they can do on the computer and on their own, but it doesn't start to level three. So we're doing this for first and second grade and then moving to teaching textbooks for third grade. My pros to it is that it is incredibly affordable. Um, most math curriculums are hundreds of dollars and this curriculum is going to be 20 to $30 roughly, depending on the book and the retailer of which you buy it at. You can buy it at Amazon, you can buy it at Barnes and Nobles, you can buy it at Masterbooks or any really curriculum retailer that you're gonna find out there. This is, it's gotten popular enough that it is available at almost all those locations. Also, you're not gonna have to buy a bunch of extra manipulatives or um, extra materials to go along with it. It does have hands-on activities. It does call for some manipulatives, but they're things that you have around the house typically. And it has a list at the front that will tell you all of those things and what you need to gather beforehand. But I guarantee you, I have not had to go to the store and buy anything special for this. Um, aside from in one of the books there is um, a few recipes and uh, if you wanted to do that I would have had to go and get extra supplies for that because I didn't have some of the seasonings but overall very very easy very very affordable to use and they have a digital copy that you can use uh, if you have a larger family this might be something worth looking into but um, they have a digital copy you can purchase it's the same price as the book or at least it was the last time I looked um, and you can purchase that book and then print it as many times as you need for your personal family um, this could be a great cost saver to you but I also just keep in mind the cost of actually printing it um, and and having that and the fact that one of the other things I love about about this curriculum is that it has lots of pictures, colorful pictures, um, different activities that um, has lots of fun, colorful pictures and illustrations and activities that use color. So if you print it in color, it's gonna get kind of pricey. Um, if you don't print it in color, you might just lose a little bit with the black and white, um, some of the charm of the curriculum, but it could definitely still be usable if that is the more affordable option for your family. For pros to the curriculum, I find it incredibly easy to use. Um, it is very open and go. There is no sense of needing to um, prep a big lesson or you know do a lot of um, gathering materials. Like I said, it is pretty much the book and a pencil and less 
unless otherwise noted. And it even lets you know if there is going to be something needed for the next lesson, it lets you know the lesson beforehand and says, hey, by the way, next week you're going to need this. And so I like the fact that it gives us little heads ups because as moms, we don't always remember um, to get those things together beforehand. So it's easy. It's open and go. My kids love to take this um, with them. It's easy. It's one of the things that I love to take if we're going to go do school at the doctor's office or in the car or whatever because it is um, it's all together. And so I just like the fact that we're able to do that. I love the fact that it teaches through story. It is Charlotte Mason based and um, it teaches the concepts through engaging and fun, interesting stories. The characters in here are two kids, a boy and a girl, they're twins, and it's they're at the age group that your kids are probably gonna be going through this. So the kid, there's a lot that they can relate to and they're learning through life lessons, as it mentions in the title. And my kids have really, really um, responded well to that and understanding that we're not just doing these abstract math problems for no reason, we're adding up, adding up things that actually matter. Um, we're talking about things like money value or the kids in the story are working on a farm when, and they're making, um, they're having to make orders of uh, flowers or eggs and they're having to gather those up in groups. But to give it a, an actual concept and attach it to something has really been helpful to my kids and makes it more engaging and interesting to them. So that is another pro. I love the fact that it does have a decent amount of review. It's not a lot all in one day. It's small, easy chunks. Um, the days are listed for you in the curriculum. So like you have, would have lesson seven here and it would be divided with work for day one and day two um, at the top. And I like the fact that it is divided like that. A lot of times we go faster than that because it's easy for my kids to do, but sometimes we need to go at that pace. And I like the fact that it builds their confidence because we're doing extra work instead of just giving them a long list of assignments to do up front and then feeling like they're behind or you know it took two hours to get there. So I like the fact that these lessons are gonna take you, it's nice and short, it's gonna take you five, 10 minutes tops to do um, math in a day. And that is a huge benefit for our family. Better to have short, easy, repetitive lessons and do it more consistently, they're gonna learn it faster and they're gonna be just fine. Another pro is that there's actually a private Facebook page for um, people who use Math Lessons for Living Education. And the nice thing about that is it's a whole community of moms that are gathered together and some dads that are gathered together who are using the same curriculum. So if there's a lesson that you have a question about or maybe there's an activity, a hands-on activity that they're calling for that you need a little more instruction on or you'd like to see what somebody else has done, you can post that on there and you can get feedback. If there is also you know an error in the book or anything that um, you would think might be adjusted or changed, you can post that on there as well. The author is in that group and I have seen her make changes um, based on you know consumer feedback within that group before um, in future editions of printing the material. So definitely something worth getting into. And then the last pro just quickly is the fact that um, it does have hands-on activities for my hands-on learners, but not to the point where it becomes a burden to me as a teacher or it becomes overwhelming to them. There are um, several points throughout the work where they might make a poster of some of the math concepts that they've learned, or they're going to try a recipe when they're learning about measurements. They're gonna do a scavenger hunt. This is my favorite for all of my kids so far. When they're learning about pounds and ounces, they do a scavenger hunt all throughout the house to find these different items that the book calls for, and they're going to record down what their pounds and ounces were on each package. So it has a lot of fun hands-on things, not just creating, but also just going around the house looking for things. And that was really, really helpful to my kids who had the wiggles and who needed those hands-on things to really solidify these math concepts. But um, I will say that all of those were fairly optional. You could still learn the concept and not do those. So the nice thing for mom, I wish I would have known beforehand, is that you don't have to do them all. Um, if it just gets to a busy point and you're not able to get to that, you can move on and come back and do it later or just not do it at all. So there's lots of flexibility within the curriculum. So the one of the biggest pros to this curriculum that, uh, that kind of outshines the rest for me and my family personally is the fact that this math curriculum interweaves the gospel all throughout. Um, this is a Christian-based curriculum, so if that is something that you're um, not interested in, then just know that ahead of time. But it is a Christian-based curriculum, and they do a great job throughout the stories of just talking about God. And so I love the fact that they use different points. They use Bible stories um, as part of the stories, and other times they just 
kind of bring it all back home and explaining about um, how God has created and designed our world and how math helps us to understand that. So that is probably above all, um, I love when our math curriculum or any curriculum that we're doing can tie back in scripture and open up opportunities for me to talk to my kids about God and who he is and what he has done for us. Those are some of my pros. I have more, but I'm not gonna bore you with them all. Some of my cons that I wanna let you know about is my kids really struggle, not all of them, but a good chunk of them really struggle with place value. The way they teach place value in this book is really different and unique. Um, they have the kids build a place value village. It's a hands-on process. And I do love that aspect of it, but for whatever reason, it didn't fully 100% click with my kids. And I had to come at it from a different angle and a different perspective, which is not abnormal with math curriculums and math concepts. But um, I wish there would have been a little more direction if that didn't work what to do. That is where the Facebook group has come in handy. I've seen a lot of people say that, that their kids didn't quite get it the way that they explained it. Um, and so people have shared back and forth different ways to do that. And that's why community is so important. But um, that is a con that I would say is I just feel like it's either a hit or a miss. It, it, there's not a whole lot of in between on the place value, um, whether they get that. And that's a really important concept that builds upon for addition and subtraction, division and multiplication and all, so on and so forth. So you do need that um, within your math curriculum. So I would just be aware of that. Not enough to make me not wanna do it. Um, my kids have still used the concept that they learn, but I had to help them kind of get there a different way um, initially. And now they can use it to review and they understand. Um, another con that I would just be aware of is the fact that I felt like there were a few places where it could use more teacher instruction. Um, so it might tell you how to make flashcards. It might tell you to make flashcards, but they refer to right brain flashcards. Um, they do provide a description of what right brain flashcards are, which for those of you who don't know, is simply the idea of creating stories and pictures within your flashcards that help your children remember the, the facts. Um, this is a great idea, but if you are not an uber creative person, it is a little daunting and overwhelming. And I hear a lot of moms who just say, ah, oh, we just do regular flashcards. And you can do that. But if you wanted to do that, I feel like you could use a little more instruction. They may have changed that since the edition that I have gotten, but I would just be aware of that, that there are a few areas where I felt like, Mm, I, I just needed a little bit more as a mom to be able to teach it. Nothing that I wasn't able to compensate for, but I still would would note that before jumping into it. That is though, again, where that Facebook group comes in handy because if you don't understand something or you need a little more help, they're always happy to jump in and help with that. Another con is that if your child really, really struggles with math, this may or may not be the best fit for them. It does have review in there. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, there's not enough review. And there is, there really is. But for some kids, they need to do a problem you know, 200 times before it's really gonna set into their head. Um, and other kids, it's not so much. And so I find that that tends to be more the exception than the rule. So for most kids, I would say this is plenty of review. It's plenty of work. You don't need to supplement it. Um, but if your child really, really struggles and needs a lot of repetition with that, this either might not be the best curriculum for them, or I would just say you may want to supplement. And um, for I have one like this, and I just simply supplemented a few printable worksheets offline. Nothing fancy, not a whole nother curriculum or anything like that, but just a few problems for him to do for extra review. Um, but I liked the fact that with this curriculum, it built his confidence and it was fun and engaging. And so I could have switched to another curriculum that just has a lot more review in there, but I found a lot of those that we have tried at least personally were very dry, very slow, and very long, and that was super discouraging to a kid that struggles in math. So I would much rather have a fun, engaging, short lesson that I need to add just a few extra problems to every once in a while than to go with one of the other curriculums that we've tried. The last con I will say is I've heard a lot of people complain about the book one, the beginning of book one. Book one does start out very, very simple. It starts out with shapes and numbers and just really, really, really basic. And people are like, this is preschool work. And they kind of push it off for kindergarten work and their first graders shouldn't work on it. But it does build and it does get harder and they do cover what they need to cover. My my boys were able to go from doing this, um, book one and book two, straight into teaching textbooks book three, which was a very easy transition for them. So the holes were filled in. And so don't get discouraged or put it off just because of those first few chapters. And I will say that for my kids who needed a lot of review, it has a lot of copy work in there for um, especially the first 
uh, book in particular has a lot of copy work of copying numbers. And at first I was like, oh, they don't need that. They know how to write their numbers. But I didn't realize how much it really, really helped with them flipping their numbers back and forth. You know, it helped them solidify how to do it neatly and how to do it correctly. And I do feel like I'm very thankful for the fact that they had all of that writing practice um, before they jumped into doing it on the computer because in the computer there isn't a lot of writing practice there for them. So just kind of a few pros and cons for you guys to think about. Again, there are placement tests so you can figure out if your child should start in a book. Don't just go according to grade level because it does vary a lot. Hope that has been helpful to you guys and um, I would love to hear what you guys are using this year for math and what your thoughts are on Math Lessons for Living Education if you've used it before. If there are other things you wish you would have known going forward with it. So I hope you guys will join us. I'm going to be posting videos every Wednesday and Saturday on making the most of little moments in homeschooling, home management, parenting, and everything in between. If those are videos that interest you, I would love if you would take a quick second to subscribe. Make sure you check back here to see those videos and leave a comment and share if this has been helpful. Talk to you guys later. Bye.